Pepper says, are you ready to declutter some more Christmas decorations? I know I am. It is that time of the week again. It is time to declutter the last section of our Christmas decorations. Over the past few weeks, we have been going through each and every bin, decluttering what we no longer use so that we can condense it down and have it better organized. And you can really see the progress that we've made because these two stacks of bins used to be just as high as the other ones and we decluttered enough that we let go of at least two stacks of Christmas decorations. And the ones that we have gone through, I have these little checkmark post-it notes on them. So we know that they're ready to go because they're gonna be brought up this weekend to decorate the house. Now, this was the last bin we finished off with, so we're going to start with these and complete the rest of the Christmas bin. Now, I am loosely using the Kamari method because I took out the one category, which was Christmas decorations. But because there were so many bins, I had to break this down into a series. To declutter all of these bins in one day would have been too overwhelming and would have triggered my nervous system. And it would not have been a very successful decluttering series if I did all in one shot. But that doesn't mean that the Kamari method doesn't work for people with hoarding disorder. It just means I can take different pieces of their strategy and accommodate it to my own life and behaviors. So I took Marie Kondo's concept of breaking down everything into categories and then decluttering it, i.e. all the Christmas decorations, and I just broke that down into smaller chunks so that I could mentally and emotionally make good decisions to declutter more things. And Pepper approves of the first pile that we're letting go of. As we start the next bin, there is a very common trait that most people with hoarding disorder have, and that is we have multiples of the same item. When we feel a very deeply emotional connection to a certain item, we tend to buy multiples of it in the fear of losing that one thing that we're attached to. We tend to struggle with organizational skills. So of course that beloved item can very easily get lost in the mass of items that we already stockpile. And the fear of losing this item is so great that it would trigger our nervous system into a panic attack. Therefore, to self-soothe and to prevent said panic attack, we will buy multiples of that same item, ensuring that if that item was to be lost, we have one, two, or even three extras of the same item that will self-soothe, bring comfort, and will ignite that loving passion that we have. And I just want to share my behaviors of hoarding disorder. That way, everybody understands the true mentality behind the stuff. Because you can see where we need different strategies to declutter. Like this bin right here. This is my children's Christmas sentimental bin. So of course, a lot of stuff in here is going to be near and dear to me. So while using the Kamari method of only keep what sparks joy is not gonna work for me because everything is going to spark joy. But what I can do is tweak her strategy. I have to pick the items that do not spark joy and that I feel confident letting go of. That's how I'm successful. So we're still using her strategies. I'm just tweaking it so that I can be successful as someone who is recovering in her hoarding disorder. And to recover in your hoarding disorder, you have to rewire your nervous system to recognize that I am still safe if I declutter. This bin right here, I'm not forcing myself to let anything go. I do use all of this in our bay window and it looks beautiful. And by not forcing myself to let something go, it is also reconditioning that I am safe 
in a time of decluttering. I am honoring the emotions that I'm feeling in this present moment. So since I'm not feeling guilty or ashamed of decluttering, I'm more open to actually doing a decluttering session, which internally makes me feel safe as I declutter. And over time, you'll see a lot of this stuff I'm letting go of, mostly giving it as gifts because it's Christmas. So in a time of inflation, which triggers my scarcity, lack mentality, and anxiety, it's the perfect time to realize how abundant we are and that we can happily give gifts to our loved ones, especially my friends, fur babies. Another thing that has worked for me in recovering my hoarding disorder is giving myself grace, love, and compassion. It's so easy to give it to somebody else, but when it comes to ourselves, I had struggled with it for years. And a lot of that stemmed from unprocessed trauma of being bullied in my middle school years and that abusive relationship that I was in when I was 17. I had to work through that trauma and to start to love myself again in a healthy way. Other people's opinions do not define your self-worth. Same as the materialistic things that you have accumulated over the years, the amount of stuff and the items that I treasure do not define my self-worth. And security to live a happy life. I no longer need to be dependent on these items to feel those emotions. And that is something that I am doing the internal work on now, presently. Now I just have to ask, who remembers these little reindeer from the 80s? Comment below and let me know if you know who they are. All right, everyone, we're here. We're finally at the last Christmas tub to go through. And she's a big one. And to my pleasant surprise, I knew that she was going to be a bin that I could get rid of most of the items too. And everything I'm showing, I'm going to let go of or give it away and reuse it for this holiday season. I've also learned how to rewire my nervous system that letting go and giving stuff away is also a form of abundance because I was stuck in the lack scarcity mindset for most of my life. But seeing how much stuff I have to give, to celebrate, to recycle, to let go of is actually a reminder that I am abundant and that I never lived in lack in my life before. Everything is a mindset and a mindset turns into behaviors and behaviors turn into habits. And we have been changing that each and every year as my decluttering and tossy tossy piles have grown bigger because doing the work, I started to not feel the same attachment as I had before. And I could look at all of these items in a new way and be grateful that I am able to let all of this go and also enjoy the things that we do have. And with that, I give you this week's Tossy Tossy Pile. We are going to be recycling as much as we can. We're going to be free gifting and some things are just plain Tossy Tossy. And this is another amazing amount. And something else that's even more amazing is the amount of stuff that we let go of in the past four weeks, in the month of November. Because if you look at everything that we got rid of, this is hundreds upon hundreds of items that we let go of. And I feel absolutely no regret for it. I feel good. I feel proud. I feel hopeful that I can indeed recover in my hoarding disorder and modify the behaviors so that I can still live a wonderful life. And these are also all the tubs that we emptied out. And a majority of these tubs that I'm showing you 
They're the big ones. They're not the little small ones. No, no, no. These are the huge Christmas bins. So we emptied out a lot of the big tubs that we can either reuse for other items or actually give them away. And I can safely say that I do not have to buy another Christmas bin again because we already have our organizational bins. I already had an organizational strategy in place because I had these bins labeled. I know where they go. They're obviously your traditional green and red Christmas colors so that I could very easily color code them and identify what was in them. And we're going to continue to reorganize these bins too because we have decluttered so much stuff this past month because we're not done yet. No, no, no we still have to go into the Christmas cave and declutter everything in front of it, as well as everything inside of it. I would like to completely take everything out of this Christmas cave because there are obvious things that we can declutter and let go of. There are many items in here that are not Christmas related. And I'd also like to give it a really good thorough, just cleaning and sweeping, just a good wipe down. And yes, there are still some Christmas bins in here that I did not go through because my boys were downstairs in the play area and I just didn't want them to see everything. But I am so looking forward to getting this done and finally having all of my sentimental Christmas decorations organized and in one place so that we have easy access to everything because I finally can feel that happiness and joy of having everything together and organized because that eliminates the fear of me losing anything.